Well, hello everybody and welcome to the next build for 0.9.0 Canvas Keep in the style of my Harmony build. This is for new players and people who are trying to learn the game and most importantly, people who don't want to burn their entire house to the ground trying to run this game at a thousand pop. This is about a 440 pop build. It's a very simplistic design that's actually based on my next video that I'm going to do, which is the Sanctuary build. Now, this is like, as, as I said, an introduction video for a lot of people. I'm going to go over tactics, going to go over a lot of stuff. We're going to be playing on the Trailblazer. We're going to be playing on the Plains. This is specifically for people who just want to chill, learn the game. Bob Ross in it, Canvas Keep. All right, so now we have our wonderful and awesome planes map and it took me i'm not gonna lie a few rolls to get this map now i want to point out a couple of things with 0.9.0 what's fantastic here is this is going to be the industrial area now we have a ton of willow and this is fantastic because we can create a basket empire you can make so many baskets and they sell for 15 to 20 gold a pop now, because we have a low population, we were really going to have to focus on specializing in certain trade goods. And I'm going to show you how to just make a 400 pop city that is awesome in all ways. We got skill root, we have herbs, and we have all the willow we could ever need. We have an infinite clay mine and a normal clay mine. We're going to probably bury over this. And that's also great because we can make pottery for luxury taxes and pottery to sell. Now, I typically hate deep core mining. But with the new guild hall system in 9.0, you can increase your mining proficiency and you can actually make a deep core mine if it's literally located within your industrial area, like this one is so close to this. You can actually make some of these things useful. Clay and stone are the two I find the most useful. Everything else is eh. We wanna make sure that we don't intercept this river over here. So we need to give ourselves a good bit of distance i'm gonna say probably right about here is gonna be where i want to place this let's just make sure there's no other obstructions in the way and yeah this looks great big flat not a lot going on cool yep so just figure out where this is and use this as your base and pretty much right here is good to go and let's make sure we put it right there. And we'll still be able to mine this uh, clay right there. So that's great. All right. So starting off, what I like to do is find the biggest and best trees so that I'm really utilizing my time well. So we got these maples back here that are hitting 11. So instead of cutting down a bunch of fours and a bunch of sixes, I can hit these guys up first. Yeah, it looks like we only have a few. Okay. So right there, I got 33, 44, 55, 66. So 66 wood on six of those trees. They're going to be able to cut that down really fast, and they're going to be able to get this bad boy up. So let's get them all focused. I don't need everybody, but let's speed this up to times two real quick. All right, and we got lots to discuss, lots to do. We're going to get this up, and then we're going to build a hunter's house. Now, if you're playing on Vanquisher difficulty, you have four months worth of food. Uh, what we're trying to do here is get people happy. And to be happy, they need housing. However, I really like to get the food going as fast as possible. Because if you screw up on that, then the happiness goes down because people are starving. And then you don't get the happiness bonus. Anyway, so it's I think it's really important to first get the hunter, one of the hunters up. All right, cool. So we have people doing that. We can also look for some more, some more elevens. But uh, I think I think we hit. I think we hit. Oh, here's another eleven. Here's another eleven. Yep, cool. All right, and once they get the wood, everyone will be groovy. We have this prioritized, so. We can start placing down the building we want, which is a hunter's cabin. All right, I'm gonna place it here. We're also going to want to get eight stone for a smokehouse and eight stone for a well. I just try to get the minimum amounts I need so that I'm focused on getting the materials that I need. 
You can also, if you want, move your ox cart a little bit closer to where people are doing this. However, it kind of washes out because they have to walk back and forth. It's just a little thing you can do, but it isn't uh, that important, really. All right. And then once they get that house up, I'll prioritize the hunter cabin. I'm going to pre-place the housing structures. So we want three for the 12 people. I'm going to place them thusly. And we want to then get a firewood cutter. And then we can get the smokehouse down after that. Like so. And this will take the meat, which spoils very quickly. Four months. It will turn that into a 12-month smoke meat. And two hunters can pretty easily feed about 40 people. As long as you're pulling in two to three hundred meat a pop. And later in the game, that can feed a bit more. And we'll get into that stuff later. This is going to give you the what you need to know to not die. All right. An 11 yielded birch tree. That is a new sight for me. Another 11. Another a. Yeah. Just look for the big, big trees. No, not the thickets. Eventually, we're just going to carpet clean. We're just going to cut down every tree we see. But right now, I'm trying to maximize time. Now, I have all the willow down here, and that's going to come into the next stage of our development, which is going to be awesome. Alright, cool. We're getting the houses up. Once they get this third house up, we can start prioritizing the buildings over there. We have this hunter. Now I'm just going to look at the icons down here until I see green. And I see green, so I'm going to send them that way for the deer. Let's prioritize this house. I want to get that up. Now we'll get our villager happiness up, which is going to increase not only our immigration rate, but our working productivity and combat efficiency that's great oh shit all right cool well the hunter took care of business okay we're getting that house up i'm also going to start prioritizing my second hunter cabin we'll prioritize the firewood splitter now oh, firewood splitter's up now we're going to prioritize the smoke shop Cool, cool, cool. And if you look at the Google document, we'll see that our first storage goes right about here. I'm gonna do both of them to make it easy because then I have a road goes thusly. That just makes my life so much easier knowing where I stand, where these roads go. Right there. Cool. And what's great about that too is eventually when we start, uh, uh, I guess I could put the woodcutter over here. Let's yeah, let's just move them. Let's just move them where he belongs. So there's two woodcutters that go in the design here, and then basket shops, all the good stuff. Now storage. Get the storage up. No problem. Out. Let's prioritize the hunting cabin. Get a little ahead of myself, but we're all good. All right. And I'm going to get six houses in total, and that's going to get us up to about 24 people. That's great. There's a lot to do. A lot to do. So this area, I just really want them focused on the herbs and the willow and the heel root. And the reason for this is if you have a long winter, you have a raider attack, the people will go inside and shut her in. And then they come out and maybe only have a few months to gather things. It's not often, but it's often enough that it pisses me off because sometimes they'll be gathering berries instead of gathering the willow or the herbs. So personal play style, I, or when I'm gathering willow and herbs, I want that really to be the only thing that they're focused on so that every single year I am getting the most of all of those resources. Now, you can move the blueberry bushes. They're one of the only movable bushes. None of the other bushes move. I'm going to move them over here next to the town center for now because I have a clean spot over there and I think it will be a good spot. And then I'll tell my people to hand gather them. Now, a couple of things. You can tell your people to hand gather berries. Not the greens, but the berries. 
And that's really useful if you don't want to make a farm, but you want that second food source from up for upgrading to tier 2 homes. So you actually don't have to have a farm. You could just use a simple gatherer and a couple things like that. Now, the woodcutter, we're going to put a quota. And that quota is going to be 750. Now, what's really cool about quotas is when they hit that maximum limit, it uh, pulls the person back into the labor force. So you don't have to micromanage that stuff. They'll just go back to the labor force and they can do other jobs. Very cool feature that was added uh, last patch. All right, cool, 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 cool. Blueberry bushes over here. Blueberry bushes over here. Lots of blueberry bushes. Uh, fantastic. Cool. All right, we got the first storage up, which means we can now build one of the most important buildings that you will have in the game. I'm going to place it here for now. It will be moving once the housing and everything is moved up. And we're going to need a lot of this to build the Fletcher. Let me just give you a, a peek. We're going to be building a tannery, cobbler, a Fletcher building, a basket shop. And eventually we'll have to build a compost yard because the waste will start building up. And I do believe I am at a point where I'm lazy and I'm just going to tell them to cut down every tree that they can see. Now that I've, I've done my efficiency thing, whatever, let's just carpet clean it. And so down here we can put a gatherer's hut, which I will take care of in a bit. I'm going to let that, let everything settle. And you can see here... We select harvest berries. They will now begin to collect these blueberries. And they're usually 12 a pop, 12 to 24. So that's, you know, at least 100 blueberries right there. All right, cool. Um, also in the design is a wall here and then a vault. And then the trade post goes right here. I'm going to put the storage building there for now. And eventually we'll move this. So I'll just put a root cellar over here. And we need 20 stone, and I think this is a good place to get the stone because we need to move this stuff. We got a wolf. Now, another thing that I would like to talk about is the combat patch and the combat changes. So, prior to 9.0, certain things damage people in certain ways, and a lot of that has been revamped. To the point now that hide coats provide an excellent source of early game protection for your citizens and everybody. Um... Here's an example. A hunter with a hide coat and a club, which you can buy at the trade post, can take on three wolves all at once. That's how good hide coats are now, and how important hide coats are, and how important they will be once the combat patch comes out in 9.5. So, before it was just about keeping people warm and maybe giving them a little protection. Now, having a hide coat is essential to having a very beefy society that can take on anything that comes at it. So you want to get a tannery up as fast as you possibly can. I'm even probably going to have a... Th Ooh, somebody died. Sorry, ADD. Um, I'm going to have a third hunter eventually. Now, we can move the graveyards. So, actually, let's put the graveyard over here. It's a great spot. Put it right next to the gatherer's hut. Forger shack. Uh, I always call it gather sex. That's what that's what it's called in other games. All right, cool. So we're gonna put a uh, forager shack there, and we're gonna build a basket empire. Baskets sell for fifteen to twenty gold. They also increase the capacity of items that people can carry. Holy shit, we got eight out of twenty people. What the shit happened? We got some kind of disease. Wow, that's an interesting one. Dehydration. Oh, forgot to build a freaking well. I talked about it. All right. Well, now we learned an important lesson of uh, they usually they'll walk to the water and get and get it, but uh, people get dehydrated a lot quicker than they used to. So yeah, we're not even at the end of year one. People are already dehydrated. All right. That's what that's what happens when you're talking about stuff and just talk about the game. Totally spaced on the well. <laughs> Yeah, build that well. That's usually the I usually build the well right after I get everything else up. That's okay. We got we got it in the bag. We're gonna get a big influx of immigrants at the beginning of the next year. We're gonna be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully Billy Billy gets that damn well up. 
All right, we're gonna prioritize the stone. Yeah, it would be fine. I'm going to cancel the root cellar to get the stone out of it. Overextended myself. Um, they did patch in 9.0 that wells get more water, so that will reduce the amount of wells people are having to to place down. However, you still need quite a bit of wells. Man, I can't believe I made such an amateur move. Sorry about that. It's like, it's so ingrained into my my mind to do that, too. I can't believe I forgot it. But, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna let it stop me. See, look, we got an immigration wave. Now we got 12 out of 20. Dying from dehydration. But this kind of just shows you the importance of having a well. And it's too cold to go outside. We're gonna boot up the times three. All right, so once they're, once they get over themselves, they got, uh, shit, people are dying from dehydration. All right, man, that sucks. I'm, I'm getting rusty. All right. Now we're going to get that well up. Everybody's going to be happy. There we go. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. So, mainly we just need a bunch of wood right now. I guess I should be a little... There's not a lot of wood... In the plains, um, we're gonna want to get a work camp up, a trade post up, and we're gonna want to get a tier two work camp as soon as possible to start getting a forestry area up. And getting this root cellar up is gonna extend the shelf life of all of our food by 20, uh, 25 percent. Pretty, pretty significant. All right, cool. Let's just mine a little bit more stone. We don't have a lot of logs because people died. So that kind of put a damper in our progress, but that's all right. All right, but we'll recover pretty quickly from that. Typically, you'd be at about 24 people by now. Had I not uh, made something as stupid of a mistake as forgetting to put a well down. <laughs> Forger. Yep, basically just need a bunch of wood right now. One cool thing though is they definitely optimized the game quite a bit. So you should notice it's going to be running a little bit smoother. And that's always a good thing. Our food supplies are more than sufficient for our population. Predators are attacking. Shit. Is this a labor? Yep, okay. So what we need to do is run them back. And have the fighter engage. Best way to do this. Yes, there we go. Got him. That's a little close. Yeah, can't lose any more people. <laughs> That's the rules. All right, cool. We, we're doing all right, though. Um, that's a bit of a setback, though, to lost level to dehydration. So don't do that. All right. Um, we got this new hunter, so look for the green. We got some deer up here. Looks like we pr probably have five laborers. 
Hopefully they start bringing in the goods. I might have to, I might have to tell them what to do after all because they're cutting down the shittiest trees. All right, I'm going back to telling them what to do. Yeah, that's 44 wood on four trees. That's more than enough. Cool. We got a year's worth of food. We should be able to bring a pretty big immigration wave with that. Everybody's happy. I'm sorry, immigration wave is max. Need about 40 wood for what's to come. I don't know what that dude's... Oh, that's the hunter. And they didn't find any deer. Go a little bit taller. Here we go. There's the deer. Go crazy. Now it's cool as you can manually control. Sometimes I'll come out here and I'll just manually start attacking deer and I'll kill a bunch of them. I, I prefer to let them do their thing, but uh, sometimes they just don't do it very well. All right. I think what I need to do is remove the stone as a target. They just keep going at it and I need you to cut down the wood. Eventually, we'll start collecting all of those things. I could have my people... Let's go kill a boar or two. Get some good pelts out of that. So, yeah, boars don't aggro unless you set up boar farming and you do everything correctly. So, you gotta kind of manually attack boars. Um, but they give a lot of pelts. It's amazing. All right, seven's good enough. I think our, our rule is going to be anything that's a seven or above. We cut. Here we go. got lots of good wood coming now. Maybe I'll send the storage cart a little closer, make it easier on them. But this is the fun part of the game where you just kind of Stare off into the distance. We've got a couple immigrants in. Great. Once we get some more people, we're going to be in good shape. Now, one thing I do want to point out is you can get a little too reliant on hunting cabins. Sometimes weird stuff just happens. So just be mindful of that. We're lucky that we have a boar spawn here. We can respond to any kind of uh, food shortages simply by controlling our hunters and going out and manually killing the boars. So, but do be aware eventually at some point you want to have at least a farm or some kind of other way to get a consistent food source. Yeah, this is this is doing well. We're we're bringing in lots of meat. Smokehouse is not as efficient as it should be. Hopefully that changes. All right, we got 14 months worth of food. Our the immigration waves are starting to come in a lot thicker. And we got four. I think we got some kids. Ugh, we got five kids. We only got <laughs> we got five kids, man. I'm going to put one person here. We need as many people out in the field as possible. we got five people on the field cutting trees down. Just need to keep that lumber coming. Now I'm going to let them build up a bit. I'm going to let the lumber build up a bit. Um, we're going to hold off on that. Let's just get the basic stuff going first. But yeah, take your time. This is a chill game. I mean, this is the way it's supposed to be. You can uh, kind of look at all the beautiful scenery. It is a very, very good looking game. Not a lot of city builders have this level of detail. And definitely are doing a great job. There we go. Hell yeah, I'll take six. All right, now we're in business. Now we got ourselves a team of people. Uh, so we're going to boot up the housing. 
two more. Yep, yep. I want to mark it. I want to mark it. I like money. They like to bring money to me. So we'll build that. And uh, I think we'll just tell them to cut down every tree they see now. Now that we have a bunch of people, let's let them work. And we'll boot this up to two. Because we do really need to start getting boards. And we're going to get a lot of wood coming in now. We got uh, eight laborers. Uh, maybe we should... Yeah, we don't have a lot of wood. So let's put these guys... Let's actually put these guys back out into cutting. We've got lots of food. Eventually, I'm going to get another hunter too. Because I want the pelt production. And I want uh, lots of other things. Lots of things. Now, I definitely need to get a lot of basic production going. A tannery. We'll get into that. Fletcher is one I want to get soon. So the tannery, like I said, with the combat patch coming out, the tannery is an incredibly important building. I'll say it again. One hunter with a hide coat and a club can take three wolves. Pretty crazy. And shoes are great for trade. Baskets are great for trade. We have an enormous amount of early game trade in this build. Um, but let's let's uh, build slow so we don't overextend ourselves. And we'll be a lot happier because of that. Now, another thing we need to do is get to tier 2 as soon as possible. So we can get a trade post up. And so we can get a work camp up. And we're going to upgrade that work camp to tier 2. And we're going to start planting trees. The plains are awful for wood. And wood is the lifeblood of anything you do in this game. So here we're going to have a market. And I'm going to cancel production until we have enough boards. I want them focused. All right, we got 10 pieces of wood. Let's build up a little bit more wood before we do anything else. Months worth of food. Okay, max pop 32. We need lots of boards, lots of boards. Fletcher's going up first. All right. Let's put two people in there now. Yeah, we definitely got the wood now. Very good. Nice. We got two deer spawns over there. We're going to build another hunter cabin. Definitely want more pelts. Anything else that I can do, I will do. Very nice. Yeah, this is great. Once you get, once you hit that 20, 25 pop, you're just cruising. All right. Let's try to intersect these a bit because there is a lot of deer to go around. We got boars down here. All right, let's build the gather. Yeah, we got lots of people cutting trees down. Got our first freaking root cellar. Twenty-six people. I'm gonna put this up to three. We we need a lot of boards. Kind of the bottleneck of progression. And we're hand gathering berries. Should be somewhat sufficient. Eating lots of raw meat. You gotta you gotta wonder how good their digestion is. Raw meat, smoked meat. Staples of any society. At 20 per berry bush, not bad. So they'll hand gather that. I don't have to have a gather for that. Saves me the dedicated person, and this person's just gonna focus on gathering things that I want them to gather. I want to now get baskets up. Uh, to increase the capacity, the carrying capacity of everyone. So we'll get the basket guy going next. There we go, Fletcher. Now I like to minima, uh, do about 40 bows and about 1,000 arrows in the beginning. I'll mess with that later. But we need to make sure that we have bows and arrows for our hunter. 
we have many many of arrow being used and i don't know what the future strategy is going to be because the combat units that are to come out in 9.5 you're going to have dedicated archers dedicated foot soldiers and i they could very well rework they could very well make it so you need quite a bit of arrows so we'll see how that goes that's a bit scary um a lot of strategies can, can change based off of that. Looks like we're going to need a bit more stone. There's only one left on that. 18 left on that. 8 on that. Um, everything else looks pretty dang good. We got 6 laborers. That's not great. Um, I might need to cut down on my boards. Got more people out there getting uh, wood. Other than that, I think it's fantastic. Really looking forward to getting baskets. That's going to increase productivity. And we're already full. Fantastic. All right, with three hunters, we should be pretty good. It's actually a pretty decent boar spawn. I may have to kind of go out of my way to kill any of these boars as possible because the pelt production really helped Getting hide coats, getting shoes. With three hunters, though, I should be pulling in quite a bit. Alright, we got boars there. Aw. Oh, fuck. They went and attacked all the boars. No, 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 no. When you see them running like this, have them turn around because they can win the battle, but if they keep running like that, they're gonna die. A little dangerous. All right, cool. All right, we're going to boost basket production up to maximum baskets. We're going to have two basket shops eventually. Now I'm trying to watch my labor. All right, cool. All right, so we need to hit 30 pop. And then we need to get the market up next. So let's start working on that. 13 boards. Two people. Yep, just, you know, slow boating it. That's what you kind of do at this stage of the game. Once we get an economy going, we'll try to put the uh, residentials back where they belong. But for now, I just want to keep everything as close tight as possible. Another great thing about having so many hunters is it's like basically an early tower or like I have three people who can defend the city, which is more than enough. It's way more than enough. Don't even need towers or any of that because I got three awesome people. And if I can find more, I should try. If I can find another deer spawn, I could actually even get a fourth hunter up. I tend to go hunter heavy for that pelt production because you have so many things that rely on it and it's just a good food source. Yeah, our best bet's probably to uh, look for it this way. Look for any green. We got boars here. We got deer there. Looks like we got another deer spawn over there. Another deer spawn over there. So that's pretty cool. Whoops. Yep. Keep it. Yeah, we probably could get another hunter if we want to. Alright, we're at 30 pop. Once the market's up, we just need a little bit more stone. Oh, let's have them harvest stone. This is looking good. Let's see. We have the trade post. And we don't have walls. We have a wall above this. I have the trade post area walled off in the design. Looking at it right now. Getting all weird on me. All right. So. Trade post, wall, 
And then we have a road going all the way out. Both directions. Fantastic. You hold shift, keeps uh, everything straight. So if you're tired of curved roads, make sure you're holding shift. All right. And then here, we actually have the temple and everything else. And we'll get into spirituality, the new spirituality system here in a bit, once we get our first things up. But kind of leaning towards wanting to get my first residential up. But unfortunately, if I do that, I'm going to have to get some kind of defense up. But we can at least start getting things correct. Alright. Go. Alright, so the temp so this whole middle area. Five by five. One. Two, three, four, five. And then there's another road system here. Alright, cool. I like to get my roads plotted as soon as I know where everything's going. And then there you go. We're getting close. But, yeah, for the time being, it's going to be kind of touch and go. Um, we could probably slightly figure out where our farms are going to be. But yeah, we need to let this grow. Pulling in 224, 504 meat. Oh. 224. Four pelts. Six pelts. Oh, that's because of the the boars I was hunting. Alright. And we're making a good amount of arrows, good amount of bows. A baskets, that's fantastic. Let us build. Our first tannery, as I said, because the armor is amazing. Tannery, um, place it down here for now. That should put us in a good spot. We need to grow our population to about 50 people. Put that there. Now we're gonna get some money coming in. Yeah, definitely want to increase our pop. We definitely have the food supply. All right. Yeah, we need uh, we need a bit more people. We have too many kids. We've got twelve infants, two child, so fourteen people who can't work. So the, the birth rates are definitely increased in 0.9.0 pretty substantially. And that's reflected at very evidently right now. All right, we're going to build another well. This tannery. Start, uh, the ratio is pretty good. It's one pelt per coat. Oh, sick. Four more people are coming in. I desperately need them. Seven. Wow. Wow. Nice. Now we're sitting pretty. Got ourselves a society. Alright, and we're going to cut down the trees. We're starting to accumulate a little bit of money. So essentially we just need to get the boards and we're good to go. So we're going to crank up board production to four people. Now that we have that, we're going to hit tier two and we're going to really sit and focus. So you the berries... And we're probably going to coast for a bit with a small population. Keeps the raid difficulty down, just keeps the uh, general difficulty down. We have the basis for a good economy. We have a clay vein here, 2200 clay. And then one down here with 17,000. That's enough to get us the tier 4, and then some. And then we have an infinite vein. So yeah, we're... We're, uh, we're doing all right. All right, sweet. Got 
all the good stuff. We need to get a cobbler up now. Eventually, I'll have to move some of this stuff around. There will be more stuff to come. Eventually, I'll also move the tannery potentially outside. But as I said, this is a small build. Not going to have a lot going on. We need to accumulate enough wealth to get our first markets up and everything. Um, we need a, a, a tower to protect the marketplace from raiders. And what we should try to do is hit about 50 to 60 population and then start mass collecting wood. And we're going to try and just get the entire basic perimeter defense up. And that way we can kind of just casually expand. And things should be pretty dope. Getting this set up for the work camp. Let me take a ganda at the Excel sheet. This, and then this is actually where most of this ends. And then the barns are going to go here. And the fertility of the barns don't matter with that much with the system that I'm going to show you how to use. Oh, shoot, and there's my sand pit. I kind of need that sand pit. Um... I have another sand pit I do cool all right well we can uh do whatever we want with that sand pit then great through that sand pit screw it I say um again right here's a good spot for a work camp but we'll need to hit tier two shit fire you can see the AI I think the AI is pretty good at putting out fires I know some people have had issues I haven't had any issues with the AI putting out fires. Been very fortunate. And come on, get those boards going. We're gonna pump this up to six people. I want boards. Yeah, cut down any tree you see, basically. We're going crazy now. Cool. I'll, I'll boot these guys up here in a second. All right. And we lost, yeah, we need to replenish this board's crap. All right. I'm gonna have to boot this down because we don't have enough people cutting trees. I'm gonna put this down to three. All right, we got four more slots. Thinking. There, do. One more house. One more house makes me feel a little bit better. All right. Doing pretty good. Food's pulling in heavy. I don't need... I could have him collect berries manually if I feel like it. Um, looks like the... Uh, we're starting to get waste. So I'm going to put him over here for now. I'll move this to its designated spot over here when I'm done. But we definitely don't want waste buildup because that will cause health issues. That's one of the drawbacks when you start getting a bigger population and when the game hits your four and five. All right, 860 meat per year being smoked. That's beautiful. And we're right there at that Goldilocks population. We're about 40 to 50, where you can be sustained. Per, you can have about six to eight months of food, have a good immigration rate. We're right there. All right. We got uh, lots of hide. I'm going to put this down to one person for now. Make enough jackets for everyone in the city. Beautiful. Look, I got a good wood production now. Put this back up to five people. And then we have compost. Very good. Perfect. Greatest compost pile ever. 
But yeah, lots of great animations in this game. Hoping they add a little bit more animations to like the barracks and everything. I know that the uh, combat patch is probably going to look at some of those things. And our root cellar is doing pretty dope. Oh yeah, we want to make sure that they're, they're not st storing raw meat here. We want that going to the smoker. So uncheck meat at your market. Monthly income of 12. And our monthly expenses four. All right. We're right there. Just need the boards now. I could pull back on some of my productions, but I kind of want to have a good surplus of things to sell. Um, we got a lot to do when we hit tier two. A lot to do. Yeah, the hunter, hunter cabins look kind of freaky. Never really looked at them before. They're pretty dope. Yeah, and uh, wood woodcutters, the uh, firewood splitters, they do really well now. Um, so it used to be like you needed a billion of them, or like eight or ten of them. Now you, now you can really just get away with like one or two. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna need four. I probably only need four if I'm doing coal production from them. But uh, all right, a right, a right. It's kind of uh, you know, low button. Not much to do. All right, cool. Here too. So spirituality is going to become a little bit more ingrained in the needs of the people. However, we have enough positive aspects right now to keep everyone happy. Clothing will become an issue. Um, so spirituality will need to be addressed. Tier 2 is... Here we are. Not a moment too soon. So our goal is to get... The workshop up as soon as possible. The uh, work camp up as soon as possible. Cool. Tier 2. And once we get... Nice, nice. Yeah, that one's cool. Now we got a lot of new buildings. Potter. We're going to get a potter going. The arborist. Ooh, wow. This is an amazing place for growing pretty much anything. But let us go to storage. And let us get the wagon shop up. And we can realistically put this anywhere. The design is still in progress. Once we get that up, we'll get the work camp up. And we want to get the trade post up as soon as possible. That's going to go right here. Now, you'll also notice in my design, I do have this area fortified. This is where the raiders go. They go for your storage. They go for your trade shops. Go for your markets. And um, I can protect everything but the markets. So that's typically what I do. They also go for the town center. They love blowing up the town center, but the town center is going to have plenty of defense. All right, cool. Wagon shop's going up now. It's fantastic. We got dippity dippity labors because we have too many damn babies. We have 18 kids. <sighs> kids are killing me. All right, um, let's look. We need. We're going to have to, unfortunately, build some more houses because we just have too many kids. And now we can build our first work camp. That's just wood. That's fantastic. You can see the fertility factor is 27%. Now, the way that this works is we want 50% or higher. Uh, that's going to give you the best wood. So you can see down here we got a 60%. And these are the things that you cannot necessarily predict when you're first Putting everything down so in my design i have no roadways going down however because of the fertility factor we're going to have to amend the design because we definitely want our forester work camp right around these parts 61 65 um i'm gonna say right here is where we want our forester and you know what? We need a road down here anyway for the herbs and all that stuff. So maybe I will amend the design to have one road all the way down. Let's do it. Let's stop talking about it. 
And let's just get right to it. And I like to have the Forester kind of centered. Um, I just think it looks better. Um, everything goes a little bit smoother. All right, road there. So we're going to center this Forester right here. Ooh, 67%. Perfect. Right there. And that's going to give us really good yields. Yeah, we're low on laborers. We have an insane amount of kits. This is nuts. But we're doing great. We're doing very well. Lots of, lots of good... You can see there's lots of maples down here, and that's because of the forestry being 67. So we're going to grow maples. Um, if you have under 50%, you grow birches, which have a maximum of 7, and also take forever to get to 7. So, yeah, you definitely want a 50% or higher area for your tree farms. Trust me. You will go crazy without it. Um... Alright, cool. The walls, walls. I'm just getting this down uh, for my own sanity. Of course, I highlighted way too many trees. We don't want to cut these trees down because they're just too far away. And we could probably even realistically tell them not, not to cut down quite a bit. Luckily, they have to cut down a lot of trees to place these objects down here. We're doing good. Just need a few more trees. Um, we have five people in the fire, and that's crazy because we don't have enough wood. So I'm gonna fire everybody until they get enough wood, and then we'll start booting up our production capacities. All right. Yeah. Once once I have a surplus of wood, then I'll put them back. Right now, there's lots to do, and. Put that up to six builders. This is perfect, too. Uh, just a road straight down. This isn't a very far distance. This is going to be an incredibly productive forestry area. We will eventually put a temporary shelter here. And that's because the temporary shelter stocks food. So that they don't have to go back to town to get food. They have it right there. So I just do that in a well. And I get a huge uh, work productivity because of that. And only one, every temporary shoulder you place has to be stocked by a wagon. So use them very tact. Be smart. Be smart about it. They, there's a logistics cost to every one of those you place down. And you typically really only need one. And this is great to have it here too. Because that means the forager doesn't have to go back for food. And it also means that the play deposit over here won't have to go back for food. Most likely I'll place it kind of like right here. And it will just be a little waypoint for everybody in this area. Um, so this is honestly really lucky. This is the perfect place for me to have a forester camp. Yeah, because I got lots lots to do down here. Beautiful. Um, yep. We're going to do it. We're going to put another hunter cabin up. And we're going to have it go to the deer spawn that's over here somewhere. More the better. Nine, 900 smoked meat per, per year. That's pretty good. Still don't have a surplus of wood, so I'm going to continue to hold off. And let's just cut down every tree in the world. Bog. That's pretty cool. Little bog bushes. Got 18 stone. We're going to need quite a bit. Now, I was going to build a shrine. I think I'm just going to go for the the whole kit and caboodle and get the temple up. Because the bonuses from that temple monthly cost, cost of 15. This The the small shrine's only 4. And it's a great building. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> instantly changed my mind based off the price. So we're going to build a shrine. That's going to get us all the spirituality we need. It's also going to get our ability bonus up. And it's going to get us it's very happy people places here yeah but um we're at a 56 pop max and once these houses upgrade it's going to be 60 70 
we're going to need to start thinking about getting the outline for this base a little bit better entrenched and getting our market and all of our people where they're going to go in the long run. Uh, I'd like to start getting one of the 12 the the 12 by 6 farms up. We're going to have three 12 by 24 farms. I'm going to show you how to do it, uh, starting off with 12 by 6 farms. And we'll go from there. So far we've only lost five people. Not bad. Cool. We got our work camp up, so now we just need to get the trade post up. I put one person in here so that we start making some boards. And yep, yeah, once we get cracking on that, we got too many boars. But none of the boars are in this region. They've wandered off. Alright, cool. Uh, you gotta be kind of worried about boars attacking your people. So. Lots of wood here. And this, what's great is the wagon will, will come and pick this wood up, and that will save my people some time. Alright, now things are gonna get cracking. Ah, shit. Faint. We're over... Over hunting the deer. Like... I think this is the only deer spawn. But it's a big deer spawn? Poor deer, so we'll send him over. Yeah, we need to do a bit of exploring and get a better bearing on where things are. Most likely I'll need to um, really get... Get going on the, the whole farm thing. Okay, let's actually start planning. So, we have, I mean, we could place it down. Theater here, and then the temple here. So, theater here, temple here. So that. Then we have our first root cellar. It's going to go over here. Gonna start plotting this all out. Four root cellars in total. You can just click the construction enable button, and that way you can hold the how everything's supposed to look. And this really helps you when you're gonna plot out a city. There's a road there, and then we're going to pay to have some trees planted. I like maple trees, and this does increase the amount of water in the ground. Um, good. <laughs> I planted... I can't camp. Sorry about that. And we're going to place a well here. So let's just get that down at least. This is going to cost us a couple dollars, but that's okay. Because that's life. Alright, and then we're going to have a 3x3 three three park right here. Okay. And then another root cellar. And I'm just not building any of this stuff right now. I'm just placing it down so that it's available to us when we need it. And it just really helps organize everything. Shit, we got the trade post up. All right, pause. So we don't have a lot for sale. We do have baskets. So hopefully we get a dude who wants to buy baskets. Let's try to get as many items as we can. We have some herbs that we can sell. That's great. Um, we don't have surplus coats yet. They're not offering a good price on coats. Anyway, eventually when I get wood rich, I do sell boards and I do sell wood. That's uh, one of the better things in the game to sell, in fact. So, that in mind. Alright, cool. Now, this is where things get a little tricky. We have a wall here. Ooh. Wall there. Wall there. First barracks, right about so. You look at the sign. Hugging the bottom. Pause the game. Turn off construction. Okay. And then that goes past this. Okay. Um. Gate. No, 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 no. Gates here. All right. Let's get the wall piece up. So there's another wall piece on the other side of the barracks. So, gate, gate, here. 
this is where it all ends. And it gets a little weird here. Hold shift, like I said, to keep things straight. This should be... But, um... We'll need, to, we'll need to play around with a lot of this stuff. Need a lot of trees cut. Alright, I'm gonna dial down the... No, no, sawmill's good. Okay. Yep, we just need to keep cutting wood. And, uh, keep getting people. And once I get this up, I can start getting farms. And, um... Everything else. Just kind of nice to have to have everything kind of done. Okay. Yeah. Then the, the walls go up like so. Perfect. And then this is the first farm. So we, we have enough of the puzzle to do the first 12 by 6. Boom. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Signing is fun. Alright, there's our first 12 by 6. And the compost will go outside here, but this is great. We're gonna let them build up the first area. And then we have to get up the first festival pole. That goes over here. Ah, I need to get this road system up. Boom. I was a little bit off my mark. All right, first festival pole goes here. Then another well. Um, I guess we'll just move the well from over here. Then school. goes there. Turn the off construction. Then a market goes up there. Alright, I think that I have sufficient uh, hunters, four hunters, that I could fend off pretty much anything. So, I think what we're gonna do is just start moving everything into position. And you'll see in the design that Everything lines up. I really want to get these houses to tier two. I really just want to get everything where it needs to be. But we're going to focus on uh, making some money. And getting just the basic, basic necessities up. And I can't see shit. Alright, and what's great is the back of this is just full of houses. Um, yeah, this is a pretty compact design. Easily over 100% desirability. I think only two houses are not hit by the library in this design. Um, oh, I didn't put a paper mill in the design. We could put the paper mill outside. Yeah, I'm gonna have to amend some stuff. Uh, hopefully by the time you see this video, I will have made all those corrections, but hoping to get pretty far in the series before I put up my first video. Alright, we're moving everything. Alright, we need to move the well now. Okay, right there. And we're also gonna uh, do some decorations here. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh. Cool. That's everything. So, we need to flood the builders so that we can get this done. I'm gonna um, pull back on everything else. Do, 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 do. Uh, no baskets. Just everybody. Let's just let's uh, pull back on everything. Even them. Even you. Oh, actually, no, not you. Not you. We need the wood. Um. Yeah, we just need to get all this stuff moved. Got a beautiful little well over there. 
get all the things back in order. Beautiful. We got lots of gold, too. Um, I think we could actually build this out, but let's just wait. I'm trying not to get ahead of myself too much. Alright, six months worth of food. We got the three by... Or, sorry, the six by twelve farm going. Yeah, we're gonna be an easy street. Um, we don't have any stone, so just put it all to wood ratio for now. In this area, because it just kind of wonkifies them. And I'm gonna put four people on this, and I'm just gonna tell them to cut down all the trees. Um, well, let's put them on mature for now. If we see them not working, then I can untick it. So yeah, we want them to be productive members of society. So this is great. Um, we still have a little bit up here to build. However, I think we're we're doing good. So yeah, you can see this is a pretty easy design. Prioritize the movement. A couple of these bad boys. Uh, we definitely need more people moving. I think we have too many things to cut down. A lot of trees, a lot of things to cut down. But yeah, you can see in the design, you got basically these two roads, that's it. Housing on the side, so houses over here, houses here, houses in the middle. And this is it. I mean, this is compact. This is as compact as it gets. And we'll have a little bit of industry out here. Um, next to the barns, the dirty places, probably the tanneries will be moved out there. And maybe even paper production will be moved. Hmm. Yeah, it could probably be moved out there. A little bit of a loss of efficiency, but that's okay. You do kind of have to, at some point, say, hey, what do I want to make? Paper is one of those things that you want to make. Because the guild hall is very important. Yeah, the tannery is going to go outside because the guild hall is most likely going to go in this bottom left corner. Um, I'm trying to make this as tight as possible. Like I said, I'm going to have another industry area out here by the cows. Uh, those buildings aren't attacked by raiders, so they can easily go outside. And everybody's happy. All right, I got to stop building walls because we're running through our wood. But this is where the first barracks will go. This will protect this area. Year six haven't had a raid yet, and that will change momentarily. I'm sure of it. But I have four warriors, uh, three at the moment, four all together, and those will be able to kill anything. So, not worried. All right, cool. Gold positive again. Got a little bit going. Um, we definitely have a lot of stone that we can use. Boom. Doing great. Yeah. It's always a little bit slow at the beginning. Um, just biding our time. Hoping that we eventually get someone who wants to buy a bunch of our shit. We have a ton of pelts. Um, I'd like to use those pelts, so I'm going to keep them. There she blows. Okay. We need to prioritize the well being moved. Now that the majority of the houses are there, I'll move this as soon as I can. Perfect. And make sure they move this stuff faster. Cool. And we're not rich yet. That sucks. Uh, we need, I think, okay, so we need 15 bricks and 10 iron ingots, I believe. 15 iron ingots, 25 bricks. Okay. A little bit off. Rightio. We do have money. Um, let's do that. Let's buy at least 15. So we need 150 gold. Oh shit, where did all my money go? Just up and vanished. Okay. Hopefully it's a uh, mid transport. Did I get robbed? My gold. Where's my gold? Okay. 
So that's scary. I don't know if that's a glitch. I've never had that happen. Looks like I just got robbed. <laughs> That's so weird. That has to be a glitch. Um, and he, yeah, they just like stole my money. That's funny. Ah, shit, we're being raided. We got six people coming. Well, I don't got any money to steal now. All right. I got two uh, warriors here. All right, they're stealing meat. I don't really care about meat being stolen. I'm gonna bait them back towards this area. I need to hit one of them. Cool. Shit, they might actually steal some stuff that's worth valuable. They stole a couple of valuable things. Eight gold. All right. Yeah, we need to. We need to get uh, our defenses up. There we go. The whole point is to not die. So, we saved our seven gold. Um, looks like they're... Ooh, that's weird. They're attacking things they normally don't attack. Alright, cool. Got the uh, angry mob chasing everyone down. Um, I'm just gonna let him go. He's gonna get away with some smoked meat, and that's fine. We got bigger fish to fry. Um, like the 150 gold that just disappeared in the thin, thin air before the raid hit. That was so weird. Maybe someone dropped it? Yeah, because dropped gold doesn't count. So maybe someone was carrying the gold to the trade post. Something bad happened to them. So weird, man. I bet you it's a freaking glitch. Yeah, they stole nine gold. whoop de doo whoop de doo da I, well, I'm pissed about those. The money that I had, it's gone. Because um, I was going to buy iron with it. Well, that's cool. We just need a couple good trades, and we'll be back in no time. Ooh, look at that. That's per This is a perfect spot for my farm. Look at that. It's going to have like a fertility of 100. 100 billion. And then my other farm is going right here. This is great. What a great spot for a farm. Yeah, so if you follow my video, you're going to have a really... And you, may you build a well at the beginning of the game. You're going to have a much better time than I did. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty easy for you. All right, cool. So we got the wood going. Um, let's get everything else back up. Auto-enabled professions. Cool, ye. Cool, cool, cool. We need a few more people. We have too many children. Um, we're going to boot the work camp down. Uh, I kind of need a work camp going. This is frustrating. I actually have to increase my... I have too many children. Okay. Making sure all these are correct. Perfection. Do one more house. Oh! It went into the freaking festival pole. Such a dolt. I was like, where did it go? Alright, yeah, it didn't disappear. Man, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing it. Sorry. It's been a while. But no, it's been a, it's been a week. It's been a very, very busy week for me. Okay. Cobbler to two. Need more shoes. I gotta find the Sawyer. Put that down to one, two people. All right, we're back in business. Mm, hopefully, I got people on the farms. Nope, I don't. Not even counting for farmers yet. That's not good. Okay, we're gonna build another house. Let me look at the design. Cool. Got lots of room. Uh, one, one more piece of stone for that gentleman, and he's good. Let's prioritize a little bit more stone movement. Right now, we, we're just kind of low on laborers. Alright, um, this is what happens when you have low pop. You just, you get to a point where you just don't have enough people to do shit. I'm gonna have to 
production down. 11 people. Thank you. God. Okay. Now we can go back to normal. I love that, like, right after I capitulate. It's just like, oh, here you go. Here's 11 people. To make me look like a jackass. Well, you're not gonna fool me. Alright. We're gonna put the library here later. I'm just gonna put a school in its place for now. As a placeholder. And then a bakery is gonna go here. And a medium statue. And another well is gonna go here. And all that good jazz. But there's definitely houses here. And all of them are getting hit by the market. I think this... So we saw we only got hit by six raiders. Pretty tame. Pretty tame. And I don't really care if they steal stuff from me. You don't need to spend five gold per month to save 50 smoked meat. Bandits didn't really do much. Okay, so our people are sad. Uh, they need spirituality. So we got our... Oh, yeah. So some of you are new. Some of you are new to this. So we have Frontier Jesus now. And uh, Dorna is preaching the word of Frontier Jesus. And that raises spirituality. Pretty sweet. Spirituality is happiness. Now when I get the temple up, I can get relics that give me really cool bonuses. Like make, making people not hungry... Increasing the damage of towers, crossbow units, uh, lots of other cool stuff. I have a video on all the relics if you're really, really, really interested. We will definitely be covering a lot of it in the later parts of this gameplay, but if you cannot wait, just look up my relic guide on my page after you watch all of this video. <laughs> um, okay, cool, 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 cool. We got the festival pole up. And it's not doing enough. Uh, market, well, festival pole. We're gonna need to start placing some basic decorations. And we're gonna need lots of boards and lots of stone. And stone becomes quite the obstacle on the planes, but this is a small base, uh, not too many walls. We should be fine. But yes, eventually we're gonna have more wood anyone's ever had and it's gonna be amazing yeah we got plenty for our folks to do um, we got too many kids 21 children eight infants 30 half of our population cannot work it's, man they really increase the birth rates um, we got three months worth of food going into winter and that's what I was telling you earlier you're kind of like you're up to the gods sometimes on these uh, hunters because they're just chilling. Those two hunters, they're not even out there trying to do anything. They're just like sitting back, cooler talking. We need food. What the fuck are you doing? All right, we found a boar. Found three boars. And we're going to get that boar meat. Let's get two boars. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, cool. Two boars. That's going to be some good meat for the winter. Don't be afraid to take matters in your own hand. And tools. Oh, man. man I got to tell you guys so much stuff. Uh, tools are a matter now. They increase the efficiency of a lot of buildings. So we're going to have to probably buy iron and smelt it since we don't have really any iron veins on this map. And that's cool. Now, we don't want to have too many mines because we are a small village. And we're, we want to specialize in a few goods. Most likely, we're going to be specializing in pottery. And wood. Wood is a one of my... Wood and cheese. Wood and cheese are my two favorite trade items. Um, Nothing really. All right, we're going to have to start selling pelts. Uh, we're not going to sell them at this rate, but it seems to be... Seems to be one of the only things people want from us. If I were to sell these, I can make a good amount of money. But I don't have anything... It's really tempting to sell those, to be honest. Alright, we got 50 days. And we got another trader. Let's see what he's got. I really want that money. I can go kill some... Like, I could go down there and kill all those boars and get like 12 
else. So it's like maybe I should just do it. If you really need the money. Um, we got two. We got all these kids to feed, man. We got all these kids to feed. We're gonna save. All right. Trader two. He's buying herbs. I will sell herbs all day. Three gold. Um. He's got nothing for me. He does. Oh, he does have one of these. I want this. Uh. My hunt. Give your hunter a club and a hide jacket, and they're a man. We'll go out there and kill everyone. You know what's great? I'm selling them. You only live once. Um, I want to buy clubs for all my hunters. Very, very important. You can see here's a relic right here. Hunter cabins yield 30% more meat. If I had a temple, and if I had $2,700, I would be buying the shit out of that. Um, and let's... Let's get some more stuff here. Now, most of my hunters have uh, swords, but eventually they'll die and wear out. So I just want to make sure we have those clubs on hand. Shoes. We finally have excess shoes. Put those up for sale. Heel root doesn't come up for sale often, but it does. So let's put some of that up. Boards. Uh, boards are easy for me to make. Let's put some of those up. And let's put some more pelts up. Yeah, we're just going to sell whatever we can. Eventually, we're going to be a basket empire, and all of our problems will be solved. Okay, we have 110 gold in town. I'm going to start just throwing all my money into the trade center. I do kind of want to seal this. Um, yeah, I'm going to seal this off for now. We're gonna destroy these walls later, but uh, I, I need to make it so they can't come in here and just grab all my stuff. I need to make it so that they're they're at least attacking the town center. So let's uh, let's get this a little bit better. The only thing they can do to the housing area is burn down the market and the house. So it's not entirely important to terraform that out yet. Uh, hit I to look at your water levels so you can see how blue it is around these trees. That's what I was talking about. That um, So we have a terrain water bonus of 78% plus the seasonal, the 99% bonus of our water generation, and it is blowing. Very good. And over here, you hit I, you can see a little bit bluer, and that's given us just a tad 53%, not bad. Not bad, but yeah, you can see the dark blue around those trees really highlights on a map that has irrigation how 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 well the that system works it's not something i've ever used before um people have told me about it and i just didn't really think about it not gonna lie all right we just get rid of all the weeds so this is actually my go-to is uh weed weed beans weed, weed beans kind of like best of both worlds and we only need three workers on this bad boy the weed weed bean Okay. Nine laborers. Doing it. Doing it. And our food supply is pretty decent now. Especially with four manly hunters. Alright, we got four boars. So I got three hunters. Let's go boar hunting. If you ever get bored? Just come down here and kill some boars. Got any more boars? Come on, I need to kill more boars. All right, there's a boar. Shit. You gotta put the boar into a no-win scenario. <laughs> I just totally left that one boar hide over there. Chasing this boar. Man, these boars run. Alright, cool. Go get that carcass, and we're in business. Alright, we're cutting down a lot of trees. Got this sealed off, so they at least have to break into it now. Got the beans going, even though it's just a little bit. But, you know, 300 beans is, you know, five or six people. 
Well, it's 24, sorry. So that's uh, four people per hundred. So yeah, it's like 12 people worth of food. Beans will last a year and a half, apparently. The food preservation system is correct. Those beans will last forever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I That kind of blows my mind that beans are supposed to last 18 months. Can't believe it. Two months worth of food. All right. Shit's hitting the fan. Shit's hitting the fan bad. I'm going to have to tell them to start collecting uh, berries. We're getting hungry. All right. I think I'll just leave people where they are. But we, I mean, four months worth of food is definitely going to last us. Especially because the hunters are going to keep hunting. They're going to keep bringing in food. We're going to be fine. Um, we have one, th we're getting 1,140 smoked meat. Let's look to see if we have any spoilage. We have 263 meat spoiling. I don't think that necessitates another smoker until I hit three or 400. I'm okay with that amount of meat. I don't want to put another person to work. I need every person I have. Oh, uh, that's a, that's a tough call. Because I don't know how much that's going to fluctuate. I might have that extra 200 because I went and hunted boar. I uh, wanted their hides for sale. I'm a, yeah, throwing the meat on the ground and selling the hides. Yeah, I know. Terrible. And bit. All right. We could probably start getting clay. Um, but I don't really have the people for it. Like I said, here comes the danger is that the more people I have, the more responsibilities I have. And Frontier Jesus is getting us a 100% spirituality. So we have 100% spirituality just from this one shrine down here. That's awesome. It costs you four gold a month. You can disable the uh, month, the the shrines. I have several in the design. You're not going to need all of them. Um, but you'll still get the desirability bonus even when they're disabled. You just won't get the spirituality bonus. All right. So now we're going to get our housing to tier two. I'm going really slow. I know, uh, a lot slower than I usually do, and that's intentional, just to kind of show people what's what. Oh my god, and I can't see because I'm snow blind. Leaving one tile gaps so that we can... There we go. And of course I did it all wrong. Okay. one tile and queen so that I can do my uh, good stuff. The good stuff. The flower urns. Flower urns give like plus 8%. They're super good. Cool. There we go. Now we're back to speed. Let's just get these houses to 30% desirability. And then we'll have some good upgrades. Perfect. Oh, man. Yeah, the school's going to be the next thing I need to get up. Um, All right, let's just get a clay mine up to get enough clay to get the basic uh, school up. And then I'll probably have to disable it because I don't have enough people. I'm going to have to wait for the kids to grow up, basically. This should get everybody to a good spot. Doop, 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 doop. Perfect. All right, cool. We're doing it. We got lots of food. Seven months worth of food. A lot of houses are going to start upgrading. Our monthly income is going to increase. There we go. All right, uh, let's probably increase board production. I 
I need more people. This this uh this is kind of throwing me off because I'm not used to having this many kits. I've actually never had this many kits. So I don't know what's going on. We're gonna have to build three houses though. I need an immigration wave. Cool. Yep. 13 gold per basket's really bad, but we just made 500 gold. I'm not selling shoes at six gold. I'm actually gonna pull all of these back because I need them. And they have nothing. I could buy clay from them, but I'm not in the mood. Um, we, we have enough money to buy the resources necessary to upgrade our Forester, but they're not selling it. I need bricks and I need iron ingots. And we're getting real close to having strip mine this entire area. Second trader's coming. I'm not building towers or any defenses right now because I'm just trying to maximize everything. Um, I'm going to sell these baskets because I do like money. Alright, so we can get the 15 ingots we need. And we just need bricks. Oh, first dude to bring me bricks is going to be my friend. Alright, let's just leave this at one person. But once we get the 15 bricks, we'll have a uh, forester. Then we can start planting trees, and then we're going to be wood rich, and then we can turn that into our next economy. Houses are going up, so we're going to have a really good monthly income. Boom, boom, boom. I would like to really get the defenses up here. At least get a wall up. It's a lot of wood. Um, hmm. I could cut down all the maples that I planted a while ago. Um, some good wood. Really want to get my defenses up, but... I'd even buy wood if I could, to be honest. So desperate I am. This is great, though. We're... Gonna get... Oh, yeah, we're gonna be a little under... Let's stay under 100 pop. I wanted to stay much lower than this, but... The increase in uh, productivity is just booming the children. Um, did not anticipate that. That's new for me. I don't know if that's a backdoor patch. I don't know. You know, because I started my game at the beginning of 9.0, so maybe they put that into testing and I just didn't know about it. Um... Because that's a crazy... The birth rates are pretty crazy. To have that many kids. Our education rate is, is pretty atrocious. So we're going to enable construction. And we're going to get that school up. Right. We're doing good. We just need a lot more wood. Who's going crazy? Um, feel like I need to pull back on other things. Oh, nice. Oh, no, that's a raid. That's not nice. Is that a raid? Yeah, that's a raid. <laughs> it's like, are those immigrants? Yay. Like, oh, no, not immigrants. Not yay. Well, we don't have any money because we need to pull these people away. All right. All right, they stole some meat. Um, Smoker is attacking people. I did not anticipate that. We're going to fight this ground. Okay, cool. We got a gang of people chasing us. We're going to lead them. Lead them back. All right. I, I'm actually really okay with them taking that meat and just buggering off, but I'll kill as many as I can. Yeah, let's get this guy because he's attacking. All right, cool. We killed quite a few of them. Nice. All right, that wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. And 
And again, all our production is limited because we don't have tools, but we don't need to worry about that for now. Oh, shit. And that wolf? All right, cool. They took care of it. Got two months worth of food because we were fighting. Um, these guys are each pulling in. Look, 500, 280, 280, 500. That's a lot of food. So they stole 243 smoked meat, which is enough food for like 10, 12 people. We killed all but one of them. So one of them got away with that meat. And we've got some beans. That should get us through the winter. Thank God for those beans. Harvest these berries. I'm going to let them harvest all the berries they want. And I can go through... Oh, yeah. I don't. I didn't say this, but if you want to undo something, you just hold shift and select. So if I don't want them to harvest berries, shift and select berries. I don't want them to harvest trees, shift, select trees. So you can go through and get rid of it later, but for the time being, we're going to stick with it. Doop, 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 uh oh. Okay, we'll move them over here. Move them over here for now. Lots of wood. Crap, we're going in the winter with barely any firewood. Um. I'm going to have to boot this up to two people to make up for everything. All right, cool. We're doing good. We've got plus 20 gold per turn. Means we could potentially get one of the towers. Let me look at the design. I have... Uh, two gates. And a tower right here. I think this would be a fantastic spot for a tower. Protect the farm. Uh, if any bears or any wolves attack. And then we'll have a building to fight off the raiders. So, yeah. One tower can kill six raiders pretty easy. And we have a low food supply so people are unhappy. That's easy to remedy. Alright. We got people chilling. We're just going to kill one boar this time. Not going to chase all the boars in the world. And I'm going to let this guy go. We realistically only need two of you. There we go. Nope, those are people. <laughs> I almost shot, shot my own people. Well, I could eat them. Desperate times. Desperate times. Um, shit. Alright, well, we're not going to have time for this. Not going to have time for this at all. They got to get back. And they're going to freeze to death. Luckily, we all have... Everyone has hide coats. And that's really increasing the longevity of these people. We'll be fine. I should have just let them continue to hunt. All right, cool. We got the lots of deer around here. I think what this does call into question, though, is that uh, we need to we need to boot this up to a uh, a twelve by twelve ASAP, pretty much. Do 12 by 12 on this. Even though I just did all that work to get that down, but yeah, we need we need a more consistent basis of food. There we go. Defensive tower. Look at that line of sight increase from that tower. Crazy. See the armor's ratings eight. All right, costing me five gold, but oh, it's gonna pan out. I think it actually might already be panning out because it's gonna kill that bear that's terrorizing us. Just in time to get rid of that stupid ass bear. Oh fuck. I want the food. I want the food of meat of that bear. There we go. Get some food. Max pop of 88. That's pretty pretty high. Alright. So we've done quite a bit. I think this is a great place to leave off on this episode. I hope you continue to watch. I will try to come out with episodes within my schedule. And that should be at least on Fridays and Sundays. If 
the videos are very, very, very popular and people can't wait. I will consider releasing a little bit early, but it's nice to be able to put time into these and, you know, build out big episodes. We do have bricks that we need to purchase and have not found yet. So this is what I was talking about with the baskets and why I'm saying we're going to have a basket empire. Make a fortune. We have a thousand gold just selling baskets basically and anything else. But this is a, a crazy amount of money to be making at this stage of the game. Alright, anyway, thank you so much for watching.